Russell Brand has just had enough of woke culture and decided to destroy them. As you can imagine, woke people are outraged. Look at how he exposed woke capitalism, where corporations pretend to care about social issues when they only care about profits. Do you think, really, really, deep down, that at big businesses and in the true heart of political life, the corridors of power, they're going, eee, what should we do about whether or not people are going, or do you think they're interested in money and power and they'll use whatever tokens and distractions and badges to distract you from that? You see, in recent years, there's been a surge in what's commonly referred to as woke capitalism. Major corporations and brands, from tech giants to fashion companies, have embraced social justice messaging as part of their marketing strategies. Whether it's rainbow logos during Pride Month or commercials addressing systemic racism, businesses have become vocal participants in the woke movement. But Russell Brand isn't buying it. Brand sees woke capitalism as a cynical ploy, an attempt by companies to appeal to progressive consumers to make billions. To him, it's not about genuine concern for social issues. It's about maintaining their bottom line by pushing woke culture to make it trendy. We have to learn to view reality properly. We have to see where power is interested in going, or as loads of you say, and I know you'll hit me up in the comments below, follow the money. Where's the money going? I know these issues are important. I'm not saying they're not important. If you want to raise your kids traditionally, if you want to raise your kids progressively, as far as I'm concerned, it's none of my business. Like the same as the way I'm raising my kids, that's none of your business. But what is business is business. And he's right. These corporations only care about making money. But the one issue that has brought so much controversy with woke culture is gender. In woke circles, gender is often seen as a fluid spectrum, something that can be chosen or changed according to individual preference. Terms like non-binary, gender fluid, and gender queer have become part of the mainstream conversation. But Russell Brand has been cautious, if not skeptical, about the speed at which society has accepted this fluid view of gender. He once said, we have to be able to discuss these things openly. It's not about being intolerant. It's about making sure we're thinking clearly and responsibly about these huge changes happening in society. We must protect the right to question without being immediately condemned. My conversations with my own children include conversations around gender identity. They often ask questions around sexuality and as an individual, as members of a family, I find that there are challenging conversations that have to be had from pretty early on. While Brand doesn't deny that people should be free to live as they choose, he also questions whether the conversation has become too politicized, especially when it comes to discussions surrounding children and education. Woke culture is pushing parents away when it comes to educating children on gender. Parents are being excluded from the conversation while it is being taught in school. For many in the woke crowd, any criticism or even questioning of gender ideology is seen as an attack. Activists have labeled Brand as outdated or insensitive, despite his insistence that open conversation is vital to any healthy democracy. Russell Brand had a conversation with Ben Shapiro about how the school system is also teaching woke culture by providing woke books to children in school. A book about two male penguins raising uh, like mm -hmm. a, a chick. And I felt like that's probably precisely the type of book that would gently introduce the idea that same-sex relationships are acceptable and ordinary and not worthy of generating conflict. Despite the backlash, Russell holds firm to the idea that questioning ideas isn't the same as attacking individuals. Brand worries that woke education is creating an environment where students are encouraged to see themselves primarily as members of specific identity groups rather than as individuals. Russell Brand talked about how the responsibility of raising children should be left to the parents for the best of the children. My personal principles are founded on tolerance, that we have to tolerate traditionalism and we have to tolerate progressivism. I think that if people want to raise their children in a particular way, they should be able to, as long as they're not hurting or in any way abusing those children. Children need so much attention when growing up, and only the parents are able to nurture them close by. For Russell Brand, free speech isn't just a political issue, it's a fundamental human right. He believes that freedom of expression should be protected, even if the views being expressed are unpopular or offensive to some. This stands in stark contrast to the woke movement, which often prioritizes the protection of feelings and the avoidance of offense. This comes at the expense of free speech, which is essential for any thriving society. Comedy has suffered the most from this. Comedians can no longer tell jokes on social issues without someone being offended. Joe Rogan has talked about this issue. 
Russell Brand was on his podcast, and this is what he had to say. People are very anti-humor because they know it's powerful, and they often use the idea that hey, hey, don't talk, don't, don't joke around. This is serious. Yes. They have mistaken seriousness for solemnity. You know, there's no, and, and the reason they want to be all solemn about stuff because they know it prevents people that have got that comedic switchblade from getting into the argument where you can and yeah. detonate shit. Like. Brand's stance on free speech has put him at odds with Hollywood's woke elite. In many progressive spaces, the idea of harmful speech has gained traction. This is the belief that words themselves can cause real harm and thus should be regulated or censored to protect marginalized groups. But Russell Brand disagrees. He argues that protecting people from uncomfortable ideas or offensive words only leads to more division and less understanding. What bothers Russell Brand the most is how woke Hollywood want to be the only ones who can contribute to certain conversations. Whatever you think about those issues, the fact that we can't talk about them is the biggest problem. Shouldn't free speech and the ability to communicate be a shared value across all political spectrums? I would say the side that wants to shut down debate are not the goodies. Whatever your view is, if you're like, I believe the opposite, you should be willing to have a conversation about it. We all should be willing to have a conversation. Otherwise, what are we ultimately going to get? We're going to get conflict and fracture and the breakdown of cultural values. And I start to wonder if that is the name and the point of the experiment. Russell Brand argues that the more we censor speech, Speech, the more we create a climate of fear, where people are afraid to speak their minds, ask questions, or explore ideas. This, in turn, creates an echo chamber where only certain views are allowed to thrive, and dissent is silenced. For Brand, the solution isn't to shut people down, but to create spaces where real conversation can happen, where people can disagree, debate, and learn from each other. Here he explained how he believes we should use free speech to our prosperity. Don't assume that free speech means the right to freely hurt people's feelings when we can use free speech to bring people together. This is a time for true unity. What if free speech revealed that we are more united than they'd ever dare imagine? Have you seen how lately it has become a culture to apologize before saying something? Woke people get so offended by the smallest things and now an apology culture has become the norm. Apologies should come from the heart, not from fear. When we start apologizing just to avoid getting canceled or to fit in with the crowd, we lose the meaning behind the apology itself. Russell Brand had a conversation about this too with Ben Shapiro. I agree with that. And it's more like, a, like instead of perhaps apology, maybe sort of gratitude, like be grateful to be in the world, be loving, be embracing, open hearted. These are the kind of ideas that my sort of spirituality uh, give me to aim towards. As much as woke culture is being pushed, tell us in the comments whether you think it actually helps. Russell Brand seems to believe that woke culture is not effective in creating the change they claim to want. This is what he believes will actually bring positive change. I don't agree with like placing the onus for social change entirely on individuals, yeah. i.e. Hey, stop using plastic exactly, bottles, yeah. then magically the problem of plastic will or disappear. Or believe in yourself and then you'll get whatever you want. The more people have their own genuine awakening, the more they will be enabled and facilitated yeah. in overthrowing whatever structures they're being confronted by. 